this map is honestly not too bad. Oops, I didn't go on that. I thought I did. <laughs> um, this map's pretty fucking massive. That's one thing you can definitely say about it, though. It does have a pretty nasty weapon spawn. Take her over to this back room where the Dwight is now, so I can try and find myself a time. He's not really that's great for me. I can buy myself some time by putting her back here to start setting up some new traps. This person right over here, she probably has hard time, so she's probably not going to If she drops the sky, I don't care. If she goes for the other guy. Drops that pallet, that's fine by me. I really fucking wish I had a. I literally can't see these quad ads, dude! I don't know which is which! It's running into the corner though, so I'm gonna chase her. Ah! I'm in a great spot right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick him up. Now, if I was really trying to go for a win, I wouldn't have picked him up at all. I don't think she realizes that I have agitation, but unfortunately I missed my swing, so I'm not gonna go fuck her. Agitation lets you go for kind of riskier plays like that, where you can fuck somebody while you The idea of this build is I want to chase people as much as possible. I want to get down as quickly. I have to fetch his fray so that I can keep uh, going around hitting people over and over again. I have wizards on the rock to help me find the ability in the game, and I have education to help me get the hooks faster and faster so I can potentially uh, keep going for chases over and over again. Set it. Ooh, that's great for me. I'm gonna put a trap at the top of the stairs and I want you to pay attention to how I put this. I'm gonna put it like right on the corner over here. Now, unfortunately, she didn't want to grab one or two. She's not part of the trap, that was really nice actually. Now, that, that 
Minecraft didn't work in that situation, but it does really work against a lot of survivors because they want to run up the stairs straight to the window. You know, they, they don't want to dally. They don't want to dilly dally around trying to go the long way. They want to get. That plot of Deborah through it, honestly. She didn't seem like she'd be uh, the kind of player to know that kind of stuff. Now, this makes playing super aggressive, trying to get his. Ooh, hello. I heard this guy's footsteps from pretty much the very early. Now, since that makes playing aggressive right now, this just has to be. Ah! Up right now, while I'm chasing this guy. And this guy's just. Which makes this really fucking difficult for him to do anything again. Now, this is why I like agitation personally. Let me get to the so I can keep chasing, so I can keep setting up. It, it lowers my downtime essentially. Now, we set a trap over here. I think they're in this back corner healing. Maybe not, but it's just a gut feeling I have. And sometimes you just gotta trust me, you gotta go with whatever you think feels right. Plus, I still have whispers on, meaning that somebody's within 32 meters. Yep, they were right there at that loop. Good on them to find the trap, though, so. By all means, they did. Good job, I'm just gonna reset it because, hey, I mean, if they're not gonna. If they're not gonna force me to leave, I'm not gonna leave, you know? I'm fine with that, though. I'm pretty sure it's just literally a plot at it. That's really fucking. Yep, I saw the birds fly out. This person's gonna try and pop the trap, I'm pretty sure. I know there's someone over here. I saw them running over. But I don't know. I'm just blind, I guess. Whatever. What's much worse, they, uh, they pop my trap. If they pop my trap, they're not a new generator, so. So right now in this downtime, I'm actually going to go ahead and start setting up some traps around the map. This is a great one, because it's really fucking difficult to see from most angles. And it forces people to have a Yeah, the person is still over there. But they spent all that time over there doing basically nothing, so I'm perfectly fine with that. But like I said, uh... I know that these guys are oh, just going to this trap here, honestly, as a, as a response to what I saw her do, she ran real close to that wall, and like I said, that Meg's been playing pretty aggressive, meaning she's probably pretty confident with her looping skills, which in turn generally means that she's going to be Playing very, very, uh, oh, come on, I didn't want to pick up this. Well, I guess I'll just pick up this trap now. Like I said, if people are confident with their loops, generally that means that they're going to be playing pretty tightly. So I put that trap there in the grass to try and. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to down her, and I'm probably not even going to hook her, considering how far out of the way she is. Person took a long ass time to do that generator too. 
they're probably not very confident on generators, so they probably weren't hitting as many great skill checks. I see her walking out over here. I don't know <laughs> how blind she thinks I am, but I'm pretty blind, so who knows. Hopefully she runs into the main building. Yes, please. No, what, what are you doing? She's running into nothing. I want her to go to the main building. Oh, well. So I knew... Uh, I saw that Infectious Sprite didn't get any triggers, meaning that there was nobody near me. I'm actually going to move it as I sit down for the bag, because it's not going to great spot anymore. I would stay around, 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 around this area, but she didn't, so whatever. I'm actually going to put this in the trap, or in the grass, next to the, next to the pallet over here. If they try and go for that pallet, they might not realize it's there. This is only exit I can take right now because I trapped the other one. Now I know they have to be coming from this direction that I'm walking towards. And I don't see scratch marks, meaning they've probably been walking the whole time and they healed. So they probably haven't made as much distance as they wanted to. I think I might have just seen someone duck behind this over here. Maybe not though. No, I didn't. And they might have sneaked by. I mean, I... We saw that one clotted that I just hooked has urban evasion, so the other one might have it as well. And so I wouldn't be surprised at all if they just kept on going by. I kind of want to put a trap in that. Space, but I don't know. Man, they move together. Right, I'm not gonna chase it. I'm gonna chase this thought of it. She can straight for the pallet. Now you see that Infectious Fright actually triggers whenever people... I don't think she realizes how fast I am right now. <laughs> I love, I love, uh, fucking... What's it called? Oh, she has to have as well. That's fine. I think I might be able to drop her, yep. The buff they gave killers where when they drop, it doesn't hurt them as much is insane. I want to try and keep her in here. Oh, I don't know. That's I was hoping. I still want to chase her around this building to try and get her in the trap. But like you see, whenever whenever I picked her up from the trap the very first time, that actually triggers infectious right too. That helps give you the information you need. Hey, these guys played pretty, pretty good. At least these three guys, the poor Dwight, didn't seem to know what the hell was happening. So it definitely feels good to, to kill all of them when, when they're playing cocky like they were. I thought the basement was here, so I bet. No, I put someone in the basement. Right? Now this girl hasn't moved at all, but she knows that I have no right to If she wiggles right now, she gets out of here, so. I don't want to go over here because she sit, her wiggle timer saves from whatever I was um, carrying her before. I'm actually going to wait before I hit her because I think the other one is a time. I know someone has decided something that I feel like this is a lot of. I kind of want to run through the pallet. So I waited as long as I could because I knew that odds were that she had decided to spray considering how she wasn't even trying to dodge me at all. That meant that she probably wanted me to down her. And I or, or rather I waited because I was scared of borrow time. I wanted to deny this girl the borrow time hit because I just would have bought her a lot more time to get to that unhook. And considering she didn't dodge my attacks, or my potential attacks, I'm guessing she probably has decided to as well. Waiting as much time as I can before I unhook her is definitely going to be the plan in this situation. I do want to keep that for the to make sure she doesn't get away from me. But I will end up waiting the rest of the time. So like you saw with my build, it's just hyper aggressive. What I want is to find people as quickly as possible. That's what I have whispers and corrupt for the top, uh, the top and bottom perks. And uh, the uh, perk on the left, and agitation, just lets me go really fucking fast while I'm while I'm holding people on my shoulder. It lets me get easy hits and even downs, like we saw with that Meg. 
So, and people generally don't expect agitation because agitation isn't a very common perk. So most killers don't really run it. You don't see it as often as you might see like barbecue or enduring or something like that. Sloppy butcher. You want. So it definitely is something to keep in mind uh, whenever you're running some of these multi-leash perks. Some of don't expect it. And of course, I'm running infectious fright on the right because infectious fright is just amazing. I fucking love it so much. It lets me go for slug plays. It lets me know where slugs are. If I can try and put someone up in a pallet, whatever it may be. Right now, I'm just extra trapped though to get some extra points for the game ends and I can pick up for sure now. to camp somebody to make sure that they end up going down so it really comes down a lot to your your um, decision making in the game now like I said I was running corrupt so two or so three generators as far away from me as possible are blocked for uh, 120 seconds that's great on on uh, groaning storehouse because like you saw there's two little cubbies essentially that's split off from the main square of the map and those generators are usually the ones to get blocked off which means you don't have to worry about those areas at all so that's perfectly fine for you infectious fright uh, like i was just saying fucking amazing perk it lets you keep up pressure lets you figure out where survivors are shit like that um agitation uh, again like i said i think it's an underrated perk but moving even that 18% uh, faster while you're moving, it's that's pretty big. 18% is a huge difference compared to how you normally move. So, uh, I mean, it does have a secondary impact, or secondary effect rather, of increasing your terrain by 12 meters. That's not really what you care about. Uh, really, you just use it to try and get people to hooks faster so you can keep up the pressure. It's similar to, it's similar to Infectious Fright like that. It helps you keep snowballing pressure more and more. And Whisper is just a solid perk at all stages of the game. It lets you know where survivors are, essentially. It doesn't tell you exactly where, but it gives you a general idea so you know where to stay and where not to stay. Now for add-ons. Uh, these are probably the two add-ons I run the most on Trapper. Just the Trapper Sack and the Trapper Gloves. So I have one extra trap, and I can carry one extra trap. And I set them a little bit faster, so I can use them during loops like I was doing. where I was set, uh, Something you can do as Trapper is you can... Whenever a pallet goes down, you can literally just trap one side of it, and that makes that pallet completely unusable for the, the killer, for the survivor rather, so that puts you in a good spot. 